Hi, Matt Allington here, and today I'm going to talk about this blog article, the new export to Excel improvements for the table and matrix visuals. So this has just been released on 16th of November. I've been waiting for this release and I wanted to show you how it works. I had a quick look at the blog. I actually couldn't work out how it works. So let me just jump in and show you exactly what you can do and can't do. So first of all, this export to Excel feature is only available in the service. So it's not available inside Power BI Desktop. And the first place I went looking for it was up here. And when I try to select export to Excel, that option is not available. And so this new option is only available inside a matrix and a table. So I have a matrix here. And if I come up and click in this corner menu, there's an option here to export data. And when I click that option, then I get this new dialog box, which gives you a few choices on how to export your data. Now, I might just point out at this point in time, this third option is not working. I suspect that's a bug, but I'm not 100% sure. But at this stage, I can't get that one to work. But let's have a look at the two options that are working. First of all, summarize data. Um, you can choose to export to Excel or CSV, which is quite good. If I export that and then open the file, this is the traditional way that it worked, and I'll show you the uh, original way. And so this is the original export approach, and basically you just get the data in, in this sort of table structure. Now this is actually pretty good because if you want to build a pivot table over the top of this data after exporting, it's pretty quick and easy. It's already in a table. You can just go ahead and insert a pivot table and I'll just ch chuck a pivot table in here and you can sort of go ahead and build the same sort of experience as there was online. I can bring calendar year over here. So, so that's the traditional way and that's it's worked that way for some time. So let me show you the other way now. And so this other option, if I close this down, is that you can now export the data and you can take the data with the current layout. And so when I export this now and open the file, now you can see that the layout as seen on the screen is maintained. So if you're putting effort into building your matrix visual and making it look nice the way it's laid out, then you can actually maintain that when you export it to Excel. So I know a lot of people have been asking for this. Look, I think there's a few um, limitations with this and, and there are a couple of other options which I might cover in a future blog article. But um, at least one of the things here is that you may not like this concept of having one value not repeating all the way down the page. So um, one way to fix that is I could unmerge those cells and when I unmerge them, you'll see that all of those values come back so that you're getting those repeating values all the way down the page. So that's how to use it. Pretty simple and easy. Just a reminder, if I come here to the desktop and I come into the corner, I don't have that export data option. The only option I've got within desktop is to put it out to a CSV file in that more table-based structure, not the layout-based structure.